All right, the map is classic. World and these, the bonuses, five, two, three, five, seven, and two. And we're the purple player first in the turn order. And this blizzard does nothing. And these two blizzards make it weird to navigate North America, but it doesn't really affect the holds much. Orange is very strong here for South America with that six. And also kind of strong over here in Africa. I'm slightly stronger for Australia. Well, that green eight might want to run through. Orange is also kind of strongest for Europe, or Orange has choices. I think we stack right here and make a claim that all three players know that, hey, we're going for uh, uh, Australia down there, if I can use my brain, hit this, and then fortify this over to here. And I guess we're strongest for Australia, so we're going for Australia. We weren't particularly strong for anything, but we're slightly stronger for this, so we go for that. Obviously, you're going to go for South America because you're quite strong for it, and you're going to go for that nice little 2.0. You should probably go for this turn. You can win that and probably win that, and... Two point hold and fortify this four, four in. No, you're patient. You're not going to greed. I would agree to in your shoes. I think that's a freebie. So we have here um, three, seven, nine, ten, fourteen in the way of getting Europe for us. So we don't want that. Here we have three, five, eight, at least eleven in the way of that. Not as bad, but still lots. Blue putting two over there. And they attack over into here. I think it came from this way. And they're attacking down there. They want Africa. Surprise, there's a ten there. They want Africa. Okay. They're going to go for it. Surprise, there's eight down here as well. They were hoping to greet and get away with it, but there's a lot in the way. You really... I see people do this a lot. They're like, I'm going to block you guys in. Move that out. Leave a one there. Give this guy a chance to attack that five out of your way. You know, less troops you have to push through. One there for the white player. I've got to push through eight just to get Australia. It's kind of a lot. Well, the seven can come down and help. I think orange has the best start, and then I'm in second place. Because they only had to push through five. I got pushed through eight. So the white player attacks out. If they fortify out, uh, that makes it a lot easier to grab this. And I can maybe get an next turn with a bit of greed. Oh, they did fortify out. That's actually really good. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. All the way. All the way. Yeah, good, 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 good. Five for green for going last turn order. Hopefully they don't stick it all here. If they're a no Australia, no win kind of player, they might do an 8v7 and fight me for Australia. And that would be rough for us. They did not. Good. They're attacking somewhere. They attack over here. So they were here. Move down this way. I think they're eyeballing Africa. But surprise, they guys see all this in the way. We'll protect their five, maybe. Three troops for us. We're going to stack these over here. We're going to hit uh, this. I'm going to greed for this first turn. Lost none there is amazing. Please don't lose too many. Lost four is devastation. We hit this. Hope that the white player doesn't break it. And I'm actually going to... This could backfire, but I'm going to fortify out of their way. Give them a chance to hit here and move their troops together. That also could backfire where they, you know, have... They stack some here to actually... I mean... Can they break this? Like they hit there, they're gonna hit that. They'll probably have like a six here to seven here or something like that. We have our both, we both have our bonuses in the same turn. Luckily for me, the white player fortified up to here, so they would have to try like a 4v3 to break me, which is unlikely. And I'm showing good faith by moving out of their way, three for blue. So that way they can fortify their troops up together and maybe they appreciate me getting out of their way. Ooh, bad dice, blue, bad dice, blue, possibly. And they attack my one up there to get a card. Blue, novice, beginner, if I had to guess. I don't know why they would. Take that fight against green. And there's attacking out a bunch. Oh, wait, did you bot out? Blue bought it out because green fortified a five next to them. They don't want to fight for Africa. So blue is a bot. Okay, good to know. Three troops for the white player. Please don't try to take a 4v3 against me down here. They stack one over there. Interesting choice. What's the six going to do? It's going to hit up there. Okay, I like this. Just move away from my Australia. I want my bonus. They fortified over here. So they've got maybe like a, a 9, 10, 11. I forget what it is over there. Three for green. They have not bought it out. So blue is going to be rampaging around here. The bot is. Orange gets a plus two over here. I like keeping this five here because it stops them from combining these troops together. Orange might gradually work on grabbing this as well. I could use that five to hit there and maybe scope out. Green's working on this bonus down here. I'd love to have a stack inside of uh, North America at some point. I'm actually going to work towards that. Actually, no next turn. Put these right here. Um, I want. I need this more protected down here. Hit this. And then we'll fortify this over to here to maybe work my way into North America. I want to make sure Orange never gets North America. Plus five for them, okay. I want to have a stack inside North America to make sure Orange never gets it. I could have just, honestly, just go through that way instead of slowly working this way. I mean, go through a two. And then whatever's over here, I don't know, there could be like a five there, right? Let's get vision. There's a world where I can have my one point hold here, keep a stack alive in here, and have that migrate into here. And then keep a stack alive in Europe. And I'm kind of blocking both these bones in case somebody wants them. Then again, the bot. Maybe, you know what? I don't think I want to be in Europe because the bot eventually is going to want it. I think we stack these here, work our way in, and then, you know, gradually card trade our way over and this in, this stack and this stack eventually combine inside of here. 
no, you, oh, I think this guy, yeah, they stacked three right there. They took a long time to think about what they wanted to do, and uh, they card skipped. They actually card skipped. We might need to card skip our turn here. So they don't have North America because they didn't attack, but they, they want North America, and they're trying to block my access, so we might come in this way. Also, I want this to get away from the bot, right? I think the bot wants Europe 3 for the white player. They stacked right there because we're probably going for a card trade, right? It's going to hit the, one of those green ones. And that's, and they hit my purple one. That's fine. doesn't really matter. Actually gives me a chance to move a different way. I want to. I kind of want to gradually work this thing down to here. Maybe hit here and then there next turn. Green gets their three stacks right there. They're going to hit my three right there. Take away that vision. Work on their Africa. That's fine. They'll work on fortifying here, here, and here. And orange is going to be busy protecting against green, but they're also going to be greeting for North America. We can't let orange get North America. Nobody else is indicating that they're going for it, really, so... I think we're going to have to do a little aggression over here and make sure you don't have this. There we go. And I want to keep vision in there. And I'm going to do another attack over here to actually, you know, it's more attacks this turn that I really need or want. I just want to get away from that side of orange and have a healthier stack over here. There we go. So we have a bunch of ones there. Five for orange. We've pushed... We have, so now if orange decides to take this, we have vision. We keep a stack here and a stack here. The white player's not going for a bonus at all. They just want to have a stack here. They either have another stack here or in here. They stack more over here. Don't know why. Not sure why they're stacking over here. Maybe they're not going for North America at all. Maybe they just want to have, uh, you know, they have this and they keep a stack alive over here for trading in this general region. Maybe. Are you a bot? You bought it out. Why? You're literally in the strongest... You had the strongest position on the board. Literally, you were the first person like to get your South America. You spent less troops to get it. You should be the strongest on the board right now. I don't know why you'd bought out. So we have orange is a bot, blue is a bot. Keep in mind, they can come back from being a bot. Could just be an extended bathroom break or something. Three for the white player. They stack it all right there in Japan. They tack over there because they want to scope out what's going on over here. They didn't need to hit a two. I think they just wanted to like see... They got the same thinking as I do. They want to make sure nothing sus is going on over there. Three for green. If I keep a big stack here, car trade in this region, I can make it hard for anybody to get a kill on the blue bot because they have to go through a huge stack here that they won't expect. Only I know this is here. I guess orange as well. Five troops for us. What do we do? Where do I want to get a card? If I get a card here, 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 blocks my path through here if I need to. What I can do is get a card over there. Fortify that up a little bit. Keep that healthy and strong over there. We hit this for a quick card. I can card trade with, like, you know, white down here if they want to. Be good for both of us. Keeps me a clean path to go around the world. Five for the orange. Yeah, I don't know why orange bought it out. Maybe they had, like, internet problems or they just had to go or something. You're literally in first place. Barely. I'm, I was in close second, I think. I'm troops, if I had to guess. They bought card trades in on three. Gets four troops. Stacks three of them right there. Bot's being clever. So if green has this, they gotta watch out for bot breaking them. Bot attacks over there for a quick card. Or just, I mean, the bot just attacks because the bot likes to attack, really. I think green saws an eight over there, if I remember correctly. Three for blue. They card trade right away on four. Don't know why. Oh, because you're bot. Bot and bot. So we got 1v1v1 with two bots. And the bot attacks over here a bit. And it looks like they're fighting whoever's in here, so... Attack something around here, attacked over there. I think it's going to be mostly blue in here. Don't worry about blue... Getting big and slapping my nine sack if we, somebody lets them hold Europe, which could happen. Three for the white player. Stack it all right there. And are you going to hit down here? Okay, if the white player wants a card trade with me right around here, that's fine. I wouldn't mind attacking around the board to gain more vision. I could move this nine into here to get away. Like if the bot holds Europe, the bot might want to stack here and hit there at some point. Only three for green. They don't have a bonus. I imagine orange probably broke it if they did have it, right? Did. Orange did break if they had it. I need more vision on the board to line up for kills, is what I need to do. Five troops for us and a forced card trade on five. She never card skipped, did we? Didn't matter because the bots card traded early anyways. So we have 13 troops here. I want this... This is probably going to be my kill stack. Let's keep this one a little bit healthier. A little bit less down here. I guess I guess about the even amount, I suppose. And slap this. There we go. And because of those two blizzards, we actually have a nice little choke point where... To get the blue kill, somebody has to go through this side, and then either one be strong to hit my 16, which probably not at this point in the game, or go through this side and through down here, through all this. So, hard to get the kill on blue. I think orange is probably just in here, maybe in here? Orange started with three troops. Can I yoink South America? I don't think yoinking South America's thing to... Yeah, orange is still over there, that's fine. Now it occurs to me if orange pushes blue out of here, then we'll see. Plus eight for blue. 
They were holding Europe. Okay, good thing I moved away. I don't have to worry about them trying to snipe my nine stack or something. So, yeah, they're going to... Oh, and attacks out over there. Okay. So, blue has Europe. And they're expanding outwards. And it's time to start thinking about going for a kill. Who's going to be the weakest? Three for the white player? Wish I knew where their other stack was. It's... We know the white player is not in Europe. They're going to hit here for a card. The white player is not in Europe. They card trade, force card trade in five. They're not in Europe because blue held Europe. Their other stack might be in South... Might be in Africa, and that's why green never held Africa. Stack here, stack there. Their other stack was right there. Surprise! There's me. Okay, we have found the white player's other stack. And they fortified back. That's a weird play. All I have to do is never hit this, and then this guy's just got a 15 stack sitting right here that can't do anything. The white player might be exclusively in that corner. Green card trades for 12. I could, oh uh, man. If, if there wasn't a 4 and a 5 and a 3 here, so a green 8 there, I could run through this and hit that and that, and this could run through, hit that, take out green for cards, or white for cards. Alright, so we know what the white player's up to. Hiding in that corner with about 35 troops. Green's attacking somewhere. So we want to go for an elimination soon-ish. We could go for orange. Eight there and however much down here. Five troops for us. Hmm, how do we do this? Do I even do this right now? Oh, they put four there to make it hard for me to cartridge there? I'm going to stack these all right here. And I'm just going to hit blue right here. I can cartridge the bots around here. I want to wait for a more prime moment when somebody has... Uh, preferably four cars to try and go for. Plus five for orange, which means they still have South America. Let the bots hate each other a bit more. See what green's up to. Waiting is the correct play right now. The bot stacks two over there. And the bot's gonna attack my one there. That's fine. Takes my vision. Three for blue, which means somebody broke him. Probably orange or green, if I had to guess. The white player's just chilling over in this corner right here. If I had a card trade in four, and you don't card trade in three, it could be worth it trying to take you out. Do I have a card trade in four? I do. I need you to not card trade in three. If I take you out, it's double card trade. I could stack everything right here, 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 here. I think it's... Oh, hello! Are you going for the kill on orange? Or you just needed a quick card. Alright. That makes it easier to get to you. I think we go for the elimination on the white player here. Because they're the one who's... They're the one I know where they're entirely at. I don't think the white player is anywhere else on the board. If I'm wrong, then we feed the kill somebody else. Six for green. Okay. That means they finally grabbed Africa. But it probably cost him a lot of troops to do it because they're fighting blue and orange at the same time. Okay, there's green. Okay. You're making my path, you're making my path harder. You just freed my 18 stack. It's actually good depending on where you're fortified to. You were thinking about Australia. Fortify. Yeah, okay, they fortified out of my way. That's what it makes it, that used to make the white kill a lot easier for me. You made the white kill a lot easier for me. Thank you. We're going to go all of these right here. We are going for the elimination of the white player. Hit this. Then we're going to hit this right here perfectly and then we're going to hit this as well good then we hit you um can we get lucky here there we go got the elimination didn't have time to give them a good game well played because i didn't know that was i didn't know that was their last spot i don't say good game well played and that's not their last spot right 20 extra troops for us is huge and can i get an elimination on let's say the bots perhaps this right here and the rest over here i don't know that i have enough to take out the bots is the problem i don't know that i have enough I might feed the kill of somebody else if I do this wrong. I put these here. I'm actually just going to hit down here and retreat for safety. I need more vision on the board. For all I know, the bot has uh, 20 troops in here that my 16 not take out. Because if the green has like a 15 stack here and you've got like a 13 there and a 7 there, my 16 won't get the job done. So we chill. Bot stacks three over there. They did start with five troops, which means they still have South America. And that's it for their turn. Eight troops for the blue bot. You still... Oh, the bot trades it for 25. is crazy. Those are both offline. I don't know. The orange player must have had uh, internet problems or something, because they would have been a strong contender to win this. The nice thing about me staying out of it is the two bots are bordering very closely to this guy, so there's a good chance when they card trade, they're going to hit him and weaken him. And I can sit back and kind of try and clean up, because the bots aren't going to care about my 25 at all, and... Hopefully not the 16. Three for green means a bot broke him. That's good. So unless green's right here, green's exclusively in here, 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 and here. I guess I should try to take out green here. Not sure my 16 reaches. Don't know what that needs to. They're attacking a bunch. If I take out green, they've got they'll have five cards. I get a double card trade. They're attacking a bunch right now. It's a po it's a possibility that green could be a new player that doesn't realize that orange and blue are bots, or they're just trying to survive. Six for us in a card trade. We do like this. 
card trade here early. We're going to do, I think, seven is more than guaranteed to get that done. And then a 30 stack through here. Get greens five cards. And I'll be making my life a little bit easier. And then once these other guys come back, it'll be a uh, clean up the bots kind of scenario. I need to hit your green could be pinned back here. So I have to hit this. Yep, made the right call there. Hit this, put four there. We hit over here. We hit over here. I guess they're fighting orange over there. Maybe they're trying for an orange kill. Um, they should have known that orange wasn't available. I think there's uh, they were trying to pit it over to this bonus away from the other bots. Get the kill on them. There we go. And that just leaves myself and two bots, which should be a pretty quick cleanup. Big card trade right there. Let's put, uh, you know, 10 gets that done. And that gets that done. And the rest can go over here. And we can probably get the rest of you guys in this turn and get a nice little triple elimination. Would be lovely for us. Another takeout for taking you out gives us another four cards, gives us another card trade. Boom. Nice little triple elimination in a single turn. I eliminated every single player in this match. There was not a single player that I did not take out. Feels good. Go ahead and crush through all this. No need for the slider here. And slap them out. And there it is. You'll love to see it. White was an expert. All right, the map is United States Advanced and the bot, this person did not rep, became a bot and these are the bonuses. One, four, three, nine, one, eight, eight, seven, six, six, two, and one. The bot's gonna, ooh, grab a round one specific south for the bot. The bot's actually really strong. This player should have readied up. They had a good start. Four humans still in the match though. And we are the magenta player fourth in the turn order. Four for blue, so zoomed out. There we go, that's about right. This blizzard right here doesn't do a lot, makes west, south, central a little easier to hold. This blizzard doesn't do much. This blizzard makes it maybe a little bit easier to hold this, one less territory. These three blizzards make it a lot less to hold mountain north, but it is a split in half though. Blue seems to be going for perhaps west, north, central. I mean, between these blizzards and this blizzard, if they hold right here, I guess or right here, it becomes a one, two, if they hold this, one, two, three, four, five point hold, kind of so. Still kind of rough. This map, you really want this corner into this, or this into this, or this over here into this. Those are kind of like the three sweet spots. The white player stacks right there. They're going to go this way and go for the top left corner. They're the strongest for it. I think they are. Although they're going to be next to the bot, and the bot might want to fight them. Yeah, they're going for that. So the, the black bot over here, the white player over here, the blue player in the middle. That leaves me. Where am I at? I'm already down to 11 territories, which means my territories have taken a lot of the beating here, unfortunately. 25 troops? Or am I? I've got 25 troops still. Maybe not. I could try to yoink this from behind the bot slowly, and it's only a plus one, and I have to fight the bot early. I think I might need to just slowly go for this corner over here. I can slap these here, grab a quick card over here, and then we chill out for a bit and can I fortify anything anywhere meaningful? Not really. I think we can maybe get this top right corner unless the yellow player goes for it. But if they stack six here and hit this and hit this, they're a bit weak and I can fight them early for it. They stack it in here. That's crazy. They're going to hit the bots three for that. Did you not see the white player going through all this? All right, so they get that. That is a it's only a plus one. It's a one point hold on a plus one. OK, so that's a that's a weird play. This is actually great for us, though. You got a plus eight for you because you're holding a plus three in a lot of territories. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty good for you. All right, so we got three people over here. The bot here, and of course it hits mine right there. Not that it really matters. So the bots over here, the white players trying for this, the yellow players trying this. So myself and blue are loving this. Three people fighting for the left side of the map um, and losing to a bot or about to lose a bot if they're not breaking it. That's great. Now my concern is blue could get this plus eight and be pretty strong over here. They only have to push through three, four, six, nine, ten more troops to get it, which is frankly not that bad for a plus eight. And it is a one, two, three, four, five, six point hold. No, if they grab this, it's a one, two, three, four, five, six point. I think it's a six point hold no matter what they do. It's easily broken. Are they botting out? I don't know why they would. This is actually a decent situation. Oh, they're thinking about what to do. They're pivoting down to here. They tried up here and then changed their mind. And now they want this. Oh, they want to go over here. Uh, they had more time to think and they saw, wait, there's only, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, I mean, there's only 10 troops in their way over here. For the, oh no, they're trying to connect their troops up to here? Or they just want to have a lot more territories to get, some people just want to hold lots of territories. No, they are going here. They do want this. They do want this. They've seen the blizzards around it and they're like, you know what? I'll take a six point hold and be happy with it. Four troops for the white player, stack them all right here. Are they going for this bonus? 
Uh, I think they are, but they have to grab this here as well. I don't think they realize that they need this down here, or they're just going to go for it next turn. They don't want to fight the yellow player for this situation over here. Probably a good play. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are going for this. They switched. They wanted this. Yellow's here. They're pivoting. And that's a good pivot, because that's a, that's a plus eight. I need to get something this turn. This over here is a plus one, which is not a ton for us, frankly. We... Do we greed and hope to get away with it? Here's the thing, Yellow might want to fight me for it if I leave him over here. Hmm, here's the thing. If I take them all out of here, Yellow could yoink it from me. Let's just get Yellow out of this part of the board. And the bot, please don't fail this. Okay, that was horrible luck to lose three there, but... As long as nobody else fights me for it, I can grab uh, that next turn, and then maybe that the next turn. Yellow's down here, though. Okay, they stacked it over there, that's fine. They're working at this. They hit my one there for an easy card, or are they trying to push me out of their side of the board? Maybe? Or they're trying to just get everything up this way. I think they're trying to work everything up this way. The fact that neither of them is breaking the bot is great, because the bot's going to get strong, the bot's going to want to break them. The yellow player's actually in decent position here, because they can just hold up here. I mean, it's only one extra troop a turn, but... It's one extra troop a turn, the bot will not let the white player hold their bonus by any shape or means. Just unlucky for me that the one spot left on me for the board was where almost none of my troops were, so... We're just slowly struggling to get this. Bot's going crazy over there. You know what I could have done? I could have stacked real heavy over here, turn after turn after turn, slowly work for this, and then as the bot wasted the troops outwards, come, came in from behind and yoinked it. Might have been a good play. I mean, this would have worked too if I hadn't lost three out of two. That was really, really bad luck. Blue stacks five right there, because they're going to work on getting in this. Here's a problem. I'm struggling to get a plus three uh, corner. You're going to grab a plus eight. Why are you attacking over here? You just want to have more territories. You're not even going for a bonus. You're just going for lots of territories. And it's kind of working out for you. You got a lot more troops than I did. Also, to be fair, I think I've taken a lot of hits on my territories over there, right? I think Belushi just kept on focusing on this. Three for the white player? What's their play here? Their play here is to stack there. They should have stacked there. A 5v2 is not guaranteed. It's only, I think, a 91% chance. They lost none. Lucky for them. They they do a 5v2, lose none. I do a, what a, whatever. I lost three versus two, whatever. You can try for this as well. They are going to try. And they get another one. An 89% chance, they get it. Plus eight. Do, do, do other people let them hold it. Do the others let them hold it. I hope somebody breaks them. I'm not going to. I got my own problems. We're going to stack uh, just enough right there to slap them. I'll slap oh, where I want to stack the rest. Oh, it's over here. I'm going to hope that nobody wants to break me from my... It's only a plus one. Hope, hopefully nobody wants to break me from behind for a plus one. I'm not going to protect this right here. I want to focus on grabbing this. And then I can have a one, two point hold on plus three as a start. Then I can work on grabbing South Atlantic after that. Try and catch up a little bit. Yell started with four troops. Ooh, if they're touching that, they're probably thinking about breaking the white player. Smart move on their part. Letting this guy getting plus eight would be crazy when they're in your neck of the woods and also probably mad at you because you got in the, what the, the way of what they wanted. They're doing the cry emoji laughing thing. They don't appreciate being broken. But to be fair, that was a smart move on Yellow's part. He's getting plus one a turn. Why would he want to let you get plus eight a turn on a one, two, three, four, five, six point hold? Like, that's crazy. And they end their turn. They don't seem to be going for another bonus. They seem to be content to have their plus one a turn. They should be trying to work on this. I guess the bot's getting in their way. The fact they're both letting the bot do this is nuts. The bot gets another bonus. Like, surely you guys should be breaking this bot. I mean, maybe me leaving the bot to rampage is fine. Let the bot come back and claim this too. Let the bot just slow them both down. All I gotta do is match the blue player's strength gains. Bot just did damage over there. Plus five for blue because they have a lot of territories. I love that the white player has five troops in here. I want this, but there's a lot of their stuff in the way. I also yell strategy of letting the, the bot fight the white player is working out well for him. Blue stacks five right here in uh, the Great Lakes. And they're gonna probably, probably gonna grab this turn. I need to stop zooming in like that. It's messing up my zoom levels. There we go. Good enough, I guess, right there. So they're working on it. Yeah. Honestly, they've got 12 more troops than me. Their strategy of attacking out a lot is kind of working. Kind of working pretty well. Perhaps I should attack some of their territories. They might not like that so much. I'm going to focus on getting my little, uh, my little corner. My unoffensive little corner. I'm the, I'm, yeah, I'm real low on troops. I'm unoffensive over here. Not really the best start for us, but we're going to pull it back, I think. Three for the white player. Where'd you stack? I wasn't paying attention. I think you stacked them over there, and you're attacking over here for a card. You can try 3v2 because you're mad at the yellow player. You're slow rolling a 3v2, which means you're familiar with the game and how to try and prove your odds. You got one. There we go. All right. You get that final one. No, unlucky there. No card there for you. And try and roll a slow roll for a card over here. Do you get it? No. 
You're going to have to get a card over here, hit this one or something. Or card skip. It's not the end of the world to card skip one time early on. You're going to hit that seven. They're just mad at the yellow player. Yep. Oh, and bad dice, bad dice, bad dice. The white player is just, they, they've like given up on winning and they're just trying to get revenge against the yellow player. All right, so they're going to try and come back from that. We are going to slap these over here. I think nobody's really thinking about me right now. So I'm going to grab this right here. And now I'll have a two point hold and plus three is okay. Let's fortify this like so. Keep it a bit stronger on the top side. Now I've got a two point hold on plus three. Gets us a little back into it. A weird match here. People playing weird, but that's why, that's why I like playing maps that are a little less popular, a little less commonly played. Because people just like aren't as familiar with maps. Like you play world map, everybody knows you have one point hold Australia, two point hold South America. You play a map like this, people are like, uh, 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 uh here, no, uh, uh, you know, just makes more chaotic and interesting. So yellow goes in and attacks them to get a quick card. Plus 13 for the bot. We gotta be careful. The bot could run away and win this if we're not careful. The bot card trades. The bot's about to bust up the yellow player. This is why, at this point, the yellow player letting the bot go crazy is gonna, gonna be a problem for him. Yep, the bot takes them out of there. All right, the bot's getting <laughs> it's getting real strong over there. It's actually got more troops on the board than anybody because literally nobody's fighting it. I think everybody realizes it's a bot and everybody's playing is let it fight other people. And well, lucky me, I'm the farthest away from it. Six for blue. Even though they have no territories, have lots or no bonuses, have lots of troops is helping them. Lots of territories is helping them rather. I'm still like. I'm like, I've only got 23. I'm just now barely above yellow, which is crazy. Oh no, don't put your six right there. He's coming for me. I don't think he's going to get through that in my five. He could try. He could, oh, oh, he's he's coming. He's breaking me. Blue's coming for me. I think he realizes that yellow and white are basically out of it and the black player's a bot. And I think they want to stop me from getting strong. They've got 45 troops on the board. How? I guess all these twos and threes and fives. Maybe I guess the strategy for this map, if you don't have one of the corners, is just to grab a bunch of territories in the middle and hope nobody takes him from you he is gonna he's coming for me he's coming for me he's gonna break me here's the thing once you take me out i can car trade and retaliate yeah he's coming for me he's gonna break my five all right it's fine we can deal with this he didn't get the best dice of there he goes for two he's not going for me i feel like going for me would have been a decent play i feel like going for you would have been a decent play all right the white player stacks three right there let me guess you're gonna hit that six because you're mad at the yellow player yep i'm gonna get it okay. or did you bought out you bought it out all right so seven troops for us weird match here I'm not going to card trade here. I don't think I need to. The blue player is just chilling there. I don't think if they didn't hit me last turn, I don't think they're going to. You need to get cards somewhere. Put three here. Put these over here. You have 21 territories. If I hit one of your territories, that goes down. That's one less troop for you to get next turn. Again, they can break me, but they're not going to take out 30 of my troops in this one turn with, you know, their 15 stack, whatever that's going to end up being. They stack it there and I can card trade and retaliate if they want to go that route. Yellow is still doing things. Yellow bought out. Yellow bought it out. White bought it out. Uh, uh, yeah, so basically yellow and white. So, so it's just my three bots, me and blue. 15 for the black bot. So I need to... I, I, how do I win the 1v1 with blue while three bots are going crazy? And also get the win so this bot doesn't take it. They're hitting down there. The bot's slowly clearing out. The bot just does not care about this. Here's the thing. The bot's gonna go through blue first before they get to me. Which is good. Bot's also got a bit of a kill guard on the white player over there. I think I need to chain kills. Uh, blue is going to get the kill on white, I think, which gives them four cards, unless the bot, no, the, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I, I didn't think about the bot feeding kills. The, the bot just fed the white kill over to blue, which is a problem, because that gives them a, a nice juicy card trade. Hopefully they're more worried about the bot than me right now. I'm not that big of a threat. Uh, card trades are, they're not that huge, but it's definitely worth taking the white player for four cards. This eight alone just hits here, 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 and takes it. If we're lucky... The blue player just doesn't realize that now is the time to go for it. And then gives it to me. Oh, they might be going for it. At some point, we gotta go through and break uh, this guy. They're attacking over there. Interesting. Just getting a quick card. Trying to stay in here, make sure I can't get this bonus. I could stack here, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, 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 and go through and break. Oh, he's attacking more. Are you trying to finally get that? They should have gone for this. They should have gone for this way earlier. If they just gotten this way earlier, they'd be stronger position. Three for the white bot. The bot card traits. So so much for me uh, getting to get your stuff. Unfortunate. The bot seems to want to be in this part of the world. Hmm. What do we do here? I could fortify this back so the bot is less inclined to you know slap this at some point in the future. Get away from blue seven as well. So do I do I run through and break the the black bot because they're too strong? 
is the question. Or I go for the kill on yellow. Yellow's kind of hard to kill right now. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I could try and kill yellow. If I do this right here, this right here, is that going to be enough to kill yellow? I don't think it is. I got this right here, unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no, so we're going to do that there. And we are going to... Hmm. Need a card somewhere. I'm going to hit this over here. We're going to fortify back. I want to fortify out of the white bots area, but they don't have card yet, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to start setting up for the yellow kill if possible. They're, oh, wait, I'm an idiot. They card traded. Luckily, they stacked most of it right there. That's good. I was thinking, like, how do I get this, and then this, and then this, and this over here as well, and I don't think I had enough troops to get it done. And they, oh, the yellow breaking the black bot for me. That's good. That's fantastic. It looks like the yellow bot wants this bonus. And they're going down a little fortify over there after they break all that. 12 troops for the black bot. It's getting pretty far in the lead. I finally caught up with blue in troops, which is good. Not sure what blue's plan here is. They don't really care about getting this bonus. They just want to have lots of territories. I think their plan is just to sit back and let everybody else in fight and then try to like clean up. I don't know. Oh, really? You hit my five out of there? All right, fine. Now you, it's, you, you wait like nine turns. And then as soon as I stack some troops down there to get the yellow, you slap them out. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. The purpose of that was to hit that yellow stack there, so it doesn't matter. That three, and you keep that three pin inside yourself? This black bot is like a genius trying to protect the kill on yellow. What are you doing? Why are you so obsessed with stacking in here and hanging out here? You're finally going to break me? Okay. So you... Are you playing for... What is your plan here, blue player? I guess you realize that we've got a... Maybe the blue player realizes it's three bots in us. And so they're trying to go for me right now. All right. Well, I guess we can just deal with that, I suppose. I need, I, I'm like going down there. I guess, I guess blue wants to, I mean, it makes sense. It's a 1v1 between myself and blue and then the chaos of three bots. So I need to position myself in a way to let the bots wreak havoc on blue and each other. Yeah, hit there. That's fine. That's good. You tack over there. I wish I had, a, I wish that was a one so I could just hit here, here, there, right? Four troops for us. And I need to keep stacks healthy from card traits here. I want to work towards one big stack if possible. Get out of the, the white bots area here because they want to mess with us. Don't let the blue player hold this bonus in any way, shape, or form. Get this out of here. And what if I were to just attack? They've clearly started war here. Let's go ahead and attack more of their territories so they get less troop income. Would be a thing for us to do, right? Bit of this. And if they want to go down this route, let's make sure that they're not getting all those extra troops. And I can fortify this over here. And then maybe if we're lucky, the bot doesn't hit here and here, though it probably will. Yellow's going to have a card, or uh, blue's going to have a card trade on four. It's an interesting situation trying to like deal with the chaos of blue and hope that the bots don't roll us afterwards. Can I hit my keyboard there? All right, so yellow breaking the bot there is good, or the yellow bot breaking the black bot is good. Yes, break them more, good. This My biggest concern is that like we self-destruct each other a lot while this guy gets out of control, this bot gets out of control. Yes, hit blue more, good. I need blue to not have a card trade on four. They could do a lot of damage to me with a card trade on four. Ten troops for that bot. Card trade, ooh. Card trades are going to be 25. Honestly, with the card trade of 25, the blue player, if, if they do their job properly and path properly, they could maybe take out every territory I have this turn if they have that card trade on four. Do I have a card trade on four? I do. Okay. So as long as they don't card trade on four, I might be okay here. I really want to get the kill on yellow, but the black bot just loves keeping the yellow inside of them somewhere. And it pushed me out of here, which is a pain. But they are weakening each other up. It's still strong, six, seven troops. The blue player is going to feed the wind to the bot if they keep fighting me. It's a problem. They might be content with that, though. Card trade on four to destroy my life. They stack it here, hit this, 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 split some down this way, and the rest goes through here. Yup. And yeah, this that that card trade could take me out. I do have 17 territories. That might be a lot to take out in a, in a single turn, plus they're taking their time. Oh, that's good pathing there. Wait. I mean they just go through the bot. Yeah. yeah they, oh, that's a mistake. Here, 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 here. Split leaves from this. Here, here, here. And split for the, up here and come through this way. No, they're coming through this way. All right, so their plan wasn't to eliminate me this turn. Their plan was to uh, come through and break me a bunch. What was their plan? No, they're they're attacking down here. Maybe they're... You're still a player, right? You're not a bot. Okay. 
I don't know if Blue is like a, a mastermind or a beginner. I can't tell. Because if they beat me in this 1v1, you're going for you're going for the kill on White. Good play. Didn't even think of that. But they failed it. That's a, that's that's actually a solid play. And the bot car trades on three, and the bot's going to probably slam that on me. So they were going for the kill on White. They weren't eyeballing me. They are all eyeballing White, which is actually a, a very solid play on their part. Just unfortunately, they didn't take their turn quickly enough. I think strategy wise is doing well. The bot's going to break me here, unfortunately. Just, it, it is what it is. Unlucky. Unlucky, it hits. That could have easily hit that 13. If I was the 13, probably hit me right now, my luck. 11 V my 7? No, that's fine. So the bot wants to grab this bonus over there. All right. I've got 24 troops. I've got a card trade of 4, which will bring me back into things. It's fine. Plus 3. Give us this. Thank you for that. Now we're back in it. We're back alive. The yellow kill's hard to get. Nobody's good for a kill right now. Hmm, what do I do here? What is my plan? I feel like take away some of Blue's territories. Take away some of Blue's territories so they get less troops next turn. Never mind. This does not connect over to there. Crap. Well, I need a card somewhere, so we're just going to hit this over here. And then we're going to fortify, I guess, this over to... That does connect to there. Fine. This over to here. I thought that would connect to there. It does not. So you'll get a couple extra troops next turn. I could have taken you down to three, but now you'll get five, unless uh, the yellow, the black bot, hit a couple of your territories. I just wish the black bot would hurry up and push yellow out of here so I can get the yellow kill. But they're just going to make it tricky. I guess the yellow bot is hurting him a bit. Interesting match. How do I win the 1v1 with three bots roaming the world? They fortify over there. Okay. I need to keep myself hard to eliminate, too. We've got 60 troops. I'm actually second highest on the board for troops, which is good for us for the moment. The yellow bot and the, the black bot are really slowing each other down over here. It's really about just make sure the blue player doesn't chain a kill because of, uh, and use the card trade to destroy me because I think that's what they're trying to do. All right, the 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 black bots work and I'm getting yellow out of there. Still, ha still hasn't gotten this out of here. It's still hard to get the job done. Almost that two though. I have to take out yellow. I would have to stack here, hit this, hit this split, go through here, 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 here. So that's five, eight, nine, ten extra troops just to reach them. It's doable though. This 40s, or let's go for the, the white bots first. You stacked five right there. What's your plan? What are you going to do? Yeah, hitting yellow is a weird choice because that just makes it easier for somebody else to get the yellow elimination. Unless your plans for yourself to get the yellow elimination. Again, to attack, you just want to have lots of territories. You just want to have lots of territories, which does make you harder to eliminate, right? Attack that 4v1, freeze my 46 to go up. It makes my life easier. They do not. Smart. The blue player is not an idiot. They're not dumb. So it's, it's a st weird strategy I'm not used to, but they're not an idiot. They're like, they could have hit that for an extra territory and to have 18, maybe get an extra troop. They didn't because they want my 46 to not have that path up that way. They want me to have to go through that, that 12, right? So like there's their strategy. I don't fully understand it, but like there is strategy there. And the bots over here attacking like crazy. The blue player has three cars. I've got two. If I could take the blue player out, card trade is 40. I mean, I could, I mean, it might be worth it to try and take up. I mean, the blue player probably card. I think if I don't take out the blue player, the card train take me out. The problem is I'd have to go through this 12. So I'm hurting myself. I can't take out so their 50 plus this guy's 12, 62 with 49. 49 troops doesn't take out 62 most likely. So my problem is, hmm, yeah, that was a bad placement by me. What do I do? I stack these over here. And hit you here, and then maybe hit this over here, and then just get your seven out of here just to weaken you up a little bit. And then we fortify this over to here. Hope you don't have a card trade in three. A card trade in three from blue, and I think we're done. I think it's a GG for card trade in blue for three, gives them an extra 40 troops. I needed a card trade in three, really. Because all they gotta do is card, like this takes out this, a card trade, um, of what 40 well maybe actually that stack of here did this i mean it's, it'll be close it would be close whether or not they take me out 19 for you you're very strong and a card trade of 40 is nuts the blot act the, the bot accidentally kill guard and yell here is just great for them although they might oh are you gonna feed you are gonna feed the problem is turn order you are nicely to get the kill on yellow not me uh, you're gonna feed the kill on yellow over to blue which will give them a card trade if they didn't have one. Blue will have a card trade here, period. Because the bot's going to feed it to them. And it's going to make it real easy to, apparently. Oh, you lucky dog. 
You lucky dog. Unless, unless, no, no. The freest elimination of their life, the bot just gave it to him. The bot just gave it to him. Here's the thing. Maybe Blue wants to win, and they don't go for me, and they try and, like, break the bot? This bot's gonna win unless somebody runs through and breaks at some point. Here's the test of if Blue would be good or not. If, if Blue has any idea of what they're doing, yep, yeah, they, they stack here. Why are you stacking there? This 13 goes in, takes that out. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, the 7 there was just unnessary. Yep, there's the kill. Yep. 12v6. Gets the kill. The, uh, there we go. That's three troops. That gives them a card trade. And then they use that to probably go for me next, right? I'd imagine. Or maybe not. Depends. Also depends on how much time they have. 45 troops. The problem is they don't have a big stack pointed near me. They could do 49, v 41 go through all of this. I don't think they have enough to take me out. Card trade in three. I, uh, I do have a card trade in three, saves my life. What do I do with that card trade in three? They're working on the, the black player. They stacked it all right here. Okay, they're playing to win, and they realize that if they fight me right now, then the bot just rolls them. They break the bot a little bit. Not much. Not much. I mean, they could go break them some more. How do I come back to win this? They're also going to attack me a little bit here as well. They'll have four cards. I'm not strong enough to take out their 82 troops. Actually, with a card trade, maybe. Um, the white bot will also... Maybe I should go for the elimination on the white bot. Because maybe that's what you're trying to do around time. The bot will end with three... You're, you'll end with three cards. I can take you out. I'll get a... I mean, getting three cards from you does not give me immediate card trade. It stops blue from getting a kill on you, though. What do I do here? I could hide inside of the, the black bot's territory and let you guys fight. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What's my play here? Three troops for us. We card trade for safety, so I'm less of a juicy target. This is actually a really close match. I could take the blue player out and um, get four cards. Does not give me immediate card trade. I'd be, But the bots could easily take me out. The bots don't have a card trade. We go for blue right now because I think this is our play. I think this is our play, um, or at least at the very least, like, cripple them. I think this is our wing play. As we go around the world like this, I should have my slider a bit lower. We gotta be quick here. I think this is the correct play. They should have probably gone for me last turn, but it's all a guessing game. We gotta go fast though, nice and quick. We hit you over here like so. We need seven there. We hit over here. We hit slider. Max gotta go fast, uh, fast, fast. Uh, I'd say good game, we'll play, but I don't think I have time. We take them out now. How do I beat these two bots? Um, I don't have immediate card trade. Um, we... Fortify this away from you. Although the bot... Actually, no, the bot could card trade on three and then slap my 21 stack because it's going to want this bonus. I need to have a... I, I, I need to survive this turn, card trade for 55, and have like one big stack somewhere while the two bots attack and fight each other a bit. The problem is they're on the opposite sides of the board. And they're attacking a bunch here. Blue fighting me early on over here. Um, kind of gave this guy a lot of time to get big. Also, the bot just kept kill guarding yellow, and this guy kept card trading before I could take him out, right? That guy's got 142 troops yellow or white. Please do not card trade in three, and please don't hit my 21 stack. I need to card trade and run through this guy right through here. Break all this guy's stuff and fortify this in, if at all possible. So just leave me alone. I need to I need to move to this side of the board. Let these two fight each other over here. Question is, will they? Will they? Big old card trade of five right here for us. We do this. And we're going to slap it right here because I need these things to connect. And we are going on a journey. I, guess I don't want to go with that 11 stack, but I guess I'm going to. Uh, no card trade on th uh, two for you. It's not possible. Oh, uh, really? The 18 in my way? Fine. Fine. This is weakening you up a lot, huh? Um, I should have pathed that differently, but I wanted to keep my troops connected up here. Um, I don't want to hit that. I want to go down this way. Hit this. Hit that. Leave. Uh, just as little as possible, think. Right, over here. Go through this. Go through this. Break all your stuff. We go in here. We go hide in a corner. Hide our pouty little head. Move this 21 over to there. And give a chance for the white bot and the black bot to attack each other a little bit eventually. Um, while I, you know, hopefully keep my 35 stack alive. The bot will want to reclaim its territories. And I'll probably just jump cut past uh, a lot of their turns here, frankly, because they, they move slow. All right, it reclaims that. Surprisingly, it doesn't take this from us, but whatever. Big old car trade of 60 from the white player sticking it right here. Glad I got my 21 out of there because it probably would have gotten slapped. So 
Now you've got 103, you've got 114, I've got 64. We're still a bit of an underdog here. Yep, I was right, the, the bot wants that bonus. Claims a few bonuses, 11 troops for us. I'm going to stack, how many do you need over here? I don't know, maybe that many. And these can go over here, because I'm going to fortify those forward in a bit. And we're going to go ahead and hit this, and hit this, and hit this, because why not? And then I'm going to fortify, I don't know, this over to here, just stay out of their way and maybe there's a world that one or two of these bonuses just get left alone you could card trade on three hopefully you just leave me be and don't have a card trade in three so far so good takes its bonus back but it like splits its troops weird it might not do the three v one might hold this for a measly plus one doesn't really matter oh don't you put those down there 22 for you they've got so many bonuses though problem is it's gonna be a little while before they start reaching each other's borders and attacking each other's the problem i guess i could just run through the board breaking bonuses but the problem is you, you guys are guarding pretty well hit over there i mean they're gonna be on each other's borders pretty soon here i just need to have uh one stack that's so big that even when this guy card trades he won't be able to take up my one stack there and honestly move it out of this corner and get it somewhere in here where it's not like pinned by one side Seven troops for us, no card trade is tragic. I'm gonna slap these right here. We're going to break you over here, hit this over here. I wanna try and free this 12 to move out this direction, if possible. Also, break you, make you a little bit weaker. And can I do a little, uh, little action right here to get you? And no, unfortunate. Doesn't really matter a lot though. Do I wanna fortify this 45 over here? I don't think I do. I don't, do, I don't think I do, because if he card trades on four, and um stacks he sees a 45 next to the yeah 65 on top of that right there could have slapped me because bots will be like oh you have 45 there i'll slap 50 and then it breaks me and I'm, my match is over so we keep it back there where he's less inclined to put it 191 troops for you is crazy need you guys to start attacking each other eventually for the moment i'm just trying to survive against the black bot while the white bot slowly pushes through all this and then they'll eventually start fighting each other over here Rec it reclaims the borders so this bot for the most part does not care about that and there we go 23 for the white bot you guys are getting way ahead on troops because you have bonuses and i don't i need to start running through the board and clearing it but i need pass with which to do that hmm now we're in the reverse situation where this guy's gonna start getting strong i just need them to start attacking each other it's frankly all i need and i can just have i mean once I get big enough, I could probably just, like, pivot my way back out into, you know, here. And that way, because the, the black bot seems to really want to reclaim this and this and, and anything in here and not care about this, which is not what I want. I want y'all to fight each other. Give me this big old 70 card trade. You guys card trading here? The white player could card trade in four. Maybe hide inside of this bonus. Um, I need to free this 45, though, so we're going to have to go through all this, which means all the more time. But, I mean, the, the, mission accomplished, we hit over here. I'm actually not going to break as... I can break more of you, I'm not going to, because I kind of want you to, um... Uh, recover yourself faster and hurry up and fight the other guy faster, the other bot. And now that we've... We, we bid our time to hide over there. Now I've got a 100 stack and the card trades aren't uh, for 100 yet, they're for 75, so the bots can't just... My biggest concern was a bot card trading on 3 or 4 or whatever, or 5, I don't know. And then stacking... It all next to my 140 stack and then boom, taken out. Now that I've got 100 stack and they're spread out across the board, I can hide in here, slowly card trade little by little by little, and then the bots will um, run, you know, eventually once they finish claiming all this back, they'll eventually start attacking each other, lower each other's troops, and I can try and catch up. All right, they get a little bit back right there, 25 for you. I'm almost tempted to just run through and break them both a bunch, but I'd be slapping into like 12 stacks, 11 stacks, or I guess you could go through here, but... I need, what I do is I look for a clean opening to go through and break a bunch of them. Or as a way for them to start slapping each other. 260 from the white bot's insane, because the black bot's just been focused on me. There we go, now they're starting to hit each other a little bit, that helps. It's going to finish gathering its territory. Now I just keep this thing hidden somewhere, maybe eventually up into here. Maybe I hide this inside of the white bot's territory, break it a little bit, and then the black bot finishes this up and starts pushing back. Four troops us, how to come back against insane bot advantage. Do I card trade here for safety? Just in case. I'd probably be okay not doing it, just in case we're going to do that. We're going to hit over into here, and we're going to chill. I want the black bot fish grabbing this and this, and then they start slamming each other. 25 for you is a lot. But I've caught up. 188, 190. We're close, although you have more cards. If this the white player came back from being a bot right now, I think it'd be done for. Bot lost a 3v1 up here, so it didn't get that done, but it's it's almost done. Here's a problem. I, I, mean, I need to get out of this situation. Am I going to be forced to hit this 26 to go through here? 42? Oh, there it is. 38v29. Big hits. There we go. That's better. 
Love that. This, I just need these guys to soften up borders against each other to the point where they have like fives and tens or something protecting it. And then I can just run through, like actually hitting this 12. Um, here's the thing. I could run through and just mess up all your bonuses, but then you're going to do the same thing the black bot was. Sitting back, recovering your bonuses instead of hitting each other, which I don't want. So I'm going to hit over into here. And then we're going to chill. And we are going to hang out. And then the white bot has no choice but start attacking the black bot. I'm only like 40 troops behind you now, catching up. The bot's attacked. None over there to reclaim that. All right. Yes, fight each other. Huge value. That's it. That's more like it. A little bit of damage. Good, good, good. Keep hitting each other. Love that. 26 for you. Big old juicy card trade. That's why I waited till I had a big stack before it came out. See how they stacked 114 next to me? So I hit over there for a while. And there's a 40v33 weakening you both up. I'm now actually above the black bottom troops. If I take the black bot out this turn, I get their five cards. Can I do it? Um... I would break even on troops, but then the the white bot have an advantage on me, I think. We are going to... What are we going to do here? I'm actually just going to quick get a quick card over here. And forth out that back, whatever. Card trade over there. That way, if I attack over here, then the bot might, you know, the white bot might hit here. I want that 114 going this away. They card traded as well. That's a lot of troops right there. Card trade was for like 90 or something, so... I don't think I was in danger of them hitting me with it, although maybe... I think we're okay. The bot just doesn't care about that bonus. It's a plus one, makes sense. Hits down there, all right. Yeah, keep going out. Didn't attack much, unfortunately. 27, hit each other. Fight. 17 right there. Don't stack next to me over there. Stack down in here. Stack over here. I, it, once that 120 hits that 70, I think we're in a much better situation. Where am I hit that 49? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine, that's great. There we go. Now, uh, we are much closer in troops. They're breaking each other. Finally, it's happening. The moment is here that we've been waiting for. They fortify next to me over here. I could move this away. Would be smart here. I'm actually going to stack these right here. I'm going to move down into here. And um, then we're going to chill, I think. And that 51 can start moving over there and get closer to these borders and less around me. Big old car trade at 95. Luckily, I moved away because that could have been like a 165 right there. Dangerously close to hitting me, right? 258. We're closing the gap, though. Once I card trade for like 100, I'll be actually in the lead on troops. Yes, hit each other. Good. Oh, keep going all the way. All the way. Oh, yeah, it's finally just 33 troops to take out my four in here. Good job, bot. <laughs> I guess it failed the 3v1 before, so decided to times it by 11 to guarantee the deal. Yes, good damage, good damage. All right, all right. Black on the left, white on the right with CG in the middle. Okay. 26 for you. Oh, he attacks with the 27 versus that. I wanted the 72 to hit there. They probably fortify it forward, right? No, they don't. Scared by 170. Three troops for us. I'm not going to card trade here. I don't feel like I need to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attack over to here to get away from that 72 stack. I mean, it'll kind of follow me around, but we'll be fine. 37 for you is a lot, but you're just going to use it on these guys, so it's fine, right? All the more might with which you can fight each other. Big ol' hit right here. No, hit the 30. Come on. Still can. 49 versus 30 right there. I know you want to do it. Right there. Right there. Do it. Fight. The black bot's back in lead for a bit until this guy card trades. 25 troops. Am I strong enough to run through the board and break all of your bonuses? That's a big card trade. Uh, luckily, I moved away from that. If I hadn't moved away from that and they stacked it all right there, that could have taken out my 172 stack, I think. Yeah, but I moved away. and So even if I put it all right there, it wouldn't have been enough. Strategically staying alive. Hits right there. We kind of figured that. Yeah, hit that uh, 24 or whatever. They're still, because they're getting like 25 troops a turn, keeping a nice lead on me. Like... But once I card trade, I'll be even with you. I think it might be about time for me to run through the board. I think we have... I mean, I need a weak spot. I could go through all of this, through here, through uh, that. Yeah, there's a weak spot where I can go through break a bunch of their bonuses. I think it's going to be the time. I would have liked to have done this a long time ago, but I didn't want to go through, like, hefty stack numbers. So let's... Uh, we're we're going to go through and just break a bunch of their bonuses. Move that down to there. Might as well grab a bunch of it myself, right? I mean, they will be busy attacking me then, I guess, but... If they stop getting all these bonuses, we can really speed up the rate that we take them out. I get more troops having more territories. It's fine, too. Let's go through all this. And just go crazy with it, shall we? Stop you guys from getting all these bonuses every turn. 25 extra troops a turn. You're not attacking on each other fast enough for my taste. This feels really good, though. Just going through the board and slapping everything up. Pretty nice feeling. Feels pretty good. I can actually try and grab a few bonuses. I'm actually going to run out of time. I'm crazy worried about it. Get that. 
And I didn't get that one up there, but not bad. Not bad. That's good. Only four troops for you this time. So then you guys aren't going to keep getting these like extra 20. Uh, oh, I took away 30 of their troops, but I got 25, right? Speed of the rate, we take it out. I've got more troops than all of them. I've got more cards than all of you, so I'm in the lead here. We've avoided getting taken out. They're attacking each other a bit. Good, good, good. Yes, fight, fight. Well, I'm not going to fight me now, but still. Five for the white player. Couple over there, couple over there. White bot, rather. Yeah, the boss is going to attack out in here a bit, splits troops up. That's fine. I could maybe take out... I could take out the black bot for three cards, get immediate card trade, and then rampage through your territory. Oh, good hit on the black bot, making it easier for me. 41B, 25? I know you want to. No, you're gonna hit there, aren't you? I mean, the elimination of the black bot's looking pretty good. They might card trade in three, I don't want that. 20 troops for us is nice. We do one of these. I think we go for an elimination here is exactly what we're gonna do. Um, well, first of all, make sure we have that handled over there. Back to this situation. A little illumination on the old body boy. Get him out of here if we can. Make life easier. And then do a 1v1 with this other bot and hope it goes well, I guess. Seems like a plan and a play. Pathing is actually working out kind of okay for us. Get this bot out of my uh, realm in existence. And uh, good dice there. I think we've been fine with, even with bad dice. There we go. We get you out here. Get your three cards. Gives me an immediate card trait as well. And then, I don't think we take you out this turn, but I can, you know, try to do some damage to you. I'm going to put, like, that over there, the rest over here, and you go ahead and do some damage over here. Oh, I thought that connected there. Never mind. I'm going to just go ahead and do some damage on you, make your life a little bit harder here. Kind of work you down to size a bit if I can. That's not bad. 162 is a bit better. Fortify this over to... I don't know, maybe here. It doesn't really matter where I put it, as long as I'm touching this mess. Five for you. No card trade makes it easier. They stack it right here. I mean, if that five tacks down, this 11's free to go up. It'll attack in here, though. Bot doesn't seem to care about breaking my bones. It seems to be care about uh, grabbing its own. All right. And that's it. Ends a turn. Doesn't even break me. The old mistake, sir. 45 troops for us. And a big old card trade of 117 on four is nuts. Let's do... I thought this reached over there last time is why I put that over there. Let's do one of these over there. The rest can go over here. That's a big 331 sack. Hit this. Go ahead and hit this. Hit this. I don't think I need the slider here. So let's just go ahead and go crazy with this and carve our way through the world. Perhaps the slider can help us a little bit. You take more damage if you don't slider properly, but I think we're probably going to be fine, so I'm not going to worry about it. we got a significant troop lead here. The pathing works out really nice all the way around the board, and we take them out. No need to say GG will play because it's just bots they were cleaning up. Interesting match. And there it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. Two novices and a beginner. Makes sense. But there it is. See you next time.